Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem El Shai, or Kodash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's his true name. And Kodash is the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who will teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there pushing his word in all truth and all sincerity. And today, we're going to talk about how the tariffs that America is placing, the tariffs that are placed on America, and also automation is going to destroy the American economy. Okay? Uh, these things are going to um, simultaneously, you know, help destroy this kingdom. Okay? And yeah, I got a few articles that I want to get into. But first, I want to start off with this scripture here. In Isaiah 19 and 15, which it reads, Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. Now, America is spiritually known as Egypt. And you can read that in, um, I believe that's uh, um, Revelation, the uh, uh, 11th chapter. Okay, the 8th verse. All right. Which, you know what, we'll just get it, you know, for edification's sake. All right. I think it's a Revelation's 11. Or maybe it's 8 and 11. Let me see if it's 8 and 11. No, it's 11 and 8. Yep. And it reads, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city, which spiritually is Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Now, those dead bodies are talking about the Israelites, which that consists of you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, how you are in a dead estate. All right? Your minds are... And your spiritual minds are completely destroyed. And, you know, two-thirds of the of our people are going to be destroyed here, all right? And that's because they're not, you know, going to be uh, um, awakened, all right, to this truth, okay? And how it says there, which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt. And this place is known for homosexuality, such as Sodom, all right, bestiality, all right, and slavery, okay? And that's why this place is known as uh, a spiritually Sodom in Egypt. All right, now going back to Isaiah 19 and 15, it says, Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. Okay, I mean, we're about to see that. We're about to see how America is not going to receive any more work. Okay, or right, how these Americans, they're going to, um, they're going to really start feeling the effects of all these things. Okay, as of now, you know, everyone's in a, you know for the most part in a calm cool collective state of mind all right everything is business as usual all right there's not too much going on in their daily lives you know yes you know bills are getting a little bit higher yes you know people are you know cutting back on certain things but all in all they still have a job they're able to go you know eat you know when they need to go eat you know whether it be at a restaurant or whether it be um and them getting food at the grocery store you know they're able to do that still there's gonna be a time you know that's coming very soon where no one's gonna have work you know and that's gonna uh, cause you know mass chaos you know mass um, uh, uh, um, insurrection all right all over the place and when that happens that's gonna lead the uh, the US government to declare martial law and when that happens you know, people are going to get rounded up and they're going to be taken into these concentration camps, okay? And there, a lot of people are going to die, all right? Because these concentration camps, these FEMA camps are for your benefit, okay? Now, going into these articles, all right, we're going to get this one from C, uh, CBSnews.com and it says, here's how much more your shoes and sneakers could cost under new Trump tariffs. Now, this is just one of uh, many goods that are affected, okay? And this is um, an article that was posted on uh, May 21st, 2019. Now it says more than 170 shoe companies and retailers, including Nike and Foot Locker and Under Armour, warned President Trump his uh, proposed China tariffs would be catastrophic. And it's gonna be catastrophic, okay? It really is. All right, and this is, like I said, this is just one industry. We're not talking about all the other industries included, okay? 
It's all these tariffs are going to do is just affect the U.S. economy, all right, in a negative way, and also worldwide as well, all right, because everything's interconnected, all right, with America, because this is a um, a global economy, as they state, all right, with America being the forefront, and with America being the forefront, all right, if this place is affected, the whole world is going to get affected, all right. Especially because this place is a consumer society. If America's not consuming, that means these other places aren't going to... Um, they're not going to uh, 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 be prosperous, all right? Because their goods aren't going to be uh, bought anymore. Okay, I'm going to keep reading. The footwear distributors of America estimate the new tariffs could cost U.S. consumers $7 billion a year. All right? Now, I'm going to read just some of these... Um, numbers here the typical performance running shoes may go up may go from 150 dollars to 206 dollars and hunting boots from 190 dollars to 248 dollars all right i'm going to keep going down it says um basketball sneakers 130 dollars to 178 skate shoes uh, basically 50 dollars to 65 dollars hunting boots 190 to 248 Working uh, boots, 140 to 165. All right, firefighter boots, 350 to 430. Okay, and then these are huge increases. We're not talking about five dollars, okay? You know, even ten dollars. We're talking about uh, fifty dollars here, almost a hundred dollars of an increase in certain shoes. Okay, that's a lot of money. People are really gonna feel these things. Okay, it says. Um, I don't want to get two paragraphs from this. It says the tariff increase to 25% on footwear not already subject to Mr. Trump's existing tariffs could cost consumers seven billion more a year. The FDRA estimates footwear companies already pay some of the highest duties, so the industry is close to uh, to unite united in its uh, opposition. This significant tax increase in the form of tariffs would impact every type of shoe in every single segment of our society. And FDR, uh, FDRA letter signed by 170 companies said, adding that the tariffs would ask the American consumer to foot the bill. Okay, because that's right. Who's gonna pay for everything? It's not the companies. Because look, these companies they they don't care about the common or these you know uh, CEOs to the you know the top of the top of the food chain. All right, it's you commoners. You're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it. You're, you're the ones who are basically going to have to pay the tab, all right? So with this happening, all right, what's going to happen? People are going to cut back on their sp uh, spending, which that's going to create job losses, all right? Simple as that, all right? Now you have that going on. Also with this automation, all right, picking up, which automation is basically these robots taking uh, jobs, okay? Because they're going to be performing the services that people once were doing, all right? Such as this, self-driving trucks begin mail deliveries tests for U.S. Postal Service. Now, I'm not going to get into this article, but it, it's just showing you that you have these uh, uh, um, drivers, okay? They're going to be out of a uh, uh, job soon, all right? All right, your Uber drivers, your Lyft drivers to your uh, um, U.S. Postal Service. All right, uh, 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 delivery drivers, okay. To your Amazon workers, to 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 uh, uh, UPS, so on and so forth, okay. You're gonna have robots doing these jobs. Then you got robots that are already working at like the McDonald's and certain other fast food chains, and they're taking jobs. So you people are, are really gonna start feeling this, man. Okay, you people are really going to feel it soon. All right, and I'm gonna. This is a little bit of an older article, but it says here uh, from CNBC: um, automations threatening 25% of jobs in the U.S., especially the boring and repetitive ones. Uh, Brookings uh, study. Okay, it says one quarter. I'm, I'm just gonna like read a little bit of this. Nothing. Um, nothing. Uh, uh, I'm not going to read too much of this. It says one quarter of American jobs are at high risk of automation. The disruption will hit certain people harder than others, including low-wage earners of me earners and men. 
okay and why is that okay all right because all these low uh low paying jobs the jobs are very simple all right you know flipping burgers um you know even you know uh, um going back to these delivery drivers it's not a hard work so you people are, are gonna uh, feel that. And who are the uh, people who uh, have these low income jobs, all right? It's ma mainly you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, which you are the Israelites. So it's gonna affect you, all right? That's why we, we tell our people to get right, all right, before these horrific days come, all right? So like I said, that's just a little bit, um, a little bit of this article. I didn't wanna read too much because uh, you know this lesson will drag on but um i want to get real quick um ecclesiastes 12 all right ecclesiastes 12 and i'll start at i'll start at one it says remember now the creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not nor the years draw nigh and thou shalt say i have no pleasure in them all right, and that's what we tell our people. Remember your uh, your creator, okay? Before the evil days come. That's what we constantly tell our people. That's why we make these videos. That's why we go out on the highways and byways and preach, okay? To gather in those who need to hear this word, all right? The hopeful elect. You know? Because if you don't repent, if you don't, you know, uh, seek the Lord... When these evil days come, you're going to have no shield and no you're going to have no covering. And you're going to die terribly. You know, simple as that. Okay? It says, While the sun or the light or the moon or the suns be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the days when the keepers of the house shall trouble, oh, my bad, it says, tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the streets. And you're seeing that. And it says, when the sound of the grinding is low. Like I said, you're seeing that, all right? All right, you're seeing the... Because the keepers of the house are talking about the elites. They're trembling, all right? And the reason why they're getting scared, all right, the elites of this society, Esau, Edom, the so-called white men, that they're getting uh, uh, scared is because the fact that they understand that biblical prophecy is happening right before their eyes they understand their kingdom is falling they see uh the angels in, in the in, in the heavens okay in the skies all right which people uh people ignorantly call ufos which really they're the chariots of the most high which that's where the angels are at all right they see these things they see these angels uh popping up they like i said they see the prophecies bypassing because they they believe in the bible but they're going to try to upset the prophecies in the bible so with that being said these elites they're basically breaking this society down they need to clamp down hard because they know they have a short time according to revelation 12 and 12 which we're going to get all right we're going to get it real quick so they're they're basically destroying the society because they know that their kingdom is coming to an end and they need to get everything on lockdown and it says here um Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to them, Salaki, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. All right. So this man's coming down. Uh, uh, he's going to come down harshly, greatly, swiftly, very soon. Right now, he, he's just, you know, getting everything set up. All right. He's getting everything set up so when he has to come down and when he will come down, all right, it's going to be easy for him. That's why right now you, they're getting the, all these gun control laws in place. You're seeing more people being dependent on the the the, the government and the society rather being self-sufficient. You're seeing, you know, um you know the uh, the cops in the military; they're getting you know more trained. All right, like I said, the, uh, um, you have the cops; they they're they're getting more uh, militarized. All right, the cities they they 
the way they're uh, how everything is getting des designed it's for martial law that's why you're seeing more speed bumps you're seeing uh, more of um of uh, um like in the downtown areas they're putting like uh, at least here in chicago they're putting more of like these um cement blocks where you were able to like double park or kind of like get around people these things are now uh, you can't do this anymore you have huge cement blocks in the way all right this is all designed for martial law it's all designed for for you to uh be entrapped all right okay and it says uh and the strong men shall bow themselves in the grinding seats because they are few and it says and those that look out the windows be darkened and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low and like i said you're seeing that now or, or you are seeing it now but you're about to see it more okay you're about to see you know people just completely out of jobs all right you're gonna be completely out of jobs very very soon and it says and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird that's right you're gonna have a lot of people still trying to you know get up early to go find work you're gonna have a bunch of people you know trying to work these uh app jobs they're gonna you know start off like real early they're gonna find nothing all right or very little you're gonna see all these people at the temp jobs all right these temp agencies they're gonna get to the the job you know uh site early they're gonna find nothing people are gonna try to go to interviews they're not gonna find anything man okay they're not gonna find anything all right and all the daughters of music shall be brought low okay you know everything's coming down now all right even the music all right now from here i want to get um one last uh one last uh scripture here and this is uh isaiah 55 and 6 it says seek ye the lord yahweh while he may be found call ye upon him while he is near okay and you know that's why you know we always tell our people, you know, seek the Lord because, look, these evil days are coming. Jacob's trouble's coming, right? All right? Hard times. The most perilous times are about to uh, hit, hit this planet, man. All right? So give right while you can. And, you know, this is, you know, just a quick lesson. And, you know, hopefully those who are, you know, were listening, you know, were edified. And, uh, you know, hey, you know, be strong. Stay faithful. Just continue, you know, to, to do what you're supposed to do, okay? Don't get uh, weary. No, don't get, um, you know, uh, dismayed, okay, at the things that are coming. Hey, what does it say that, uh, uh, um, you know, when you shall see uh, riots of the people, wars and rumors of the war, earthquakes, so on and so forth? Yahweh Shai said these are the beginnings of sorrows, right? And right now we're in the be uh, beginning stages of these great sorrows it's only going to get worse you know so be mentally prepared for this all right spiritually prepared and with that i'm gonna give all praises honor and glory to yahweh shai double honors to the apostles and the elders great millstone and salutations to you brothers